Hello everyone, we hope you all are doing well and welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the game between the Renegades and the Sixers. It's the return fixture. There's already the same that happened just a few days ago. So it will be interesting to see how this one pans out. And Renegades is also one of Nikhil Bai's favorite teams this year. So he'll tell you more about them and more about the venue conditions too. So just I'll just show one ticker that we show for the game type and the this is all that you need to see. It is level high. <laughs> because it is Renegades playing. And the point of that is, teams there is no, not too many options for them to try. And hmm. if the game will be very fresh for everyone. So you are very likely to see a very common team. The difference could easily be just your captain, vice captains, hmm. and uh, one player here and there. So, which is why I feel the risk is high. But if you don't like Renegades, you can read your palms and fingers very well and uh, so then you should definitely try a lot of things but yeah then you can play small leagues also yes absolutely so that's the order for the day mini gls yeah. and let's look at the venue conditions first up So the games at Geelong, like we discussed, and just to refresh your memory, if I take the name Michael Nesser and John O'Wells leaving a ball on his stumps, that will be enough for you to remember what happened at Geelong the last time there was a game here. So yes, it's the sort of ground that does have movement up front and it supports pacers more than spinners, but also Akilo Sen took three in the last one, but then that was against the Heat. So yes, I can't say... Too much more than that, but yes, that is what I feel about the venue should help Pacers. Nikhil, why will you opt for more spin or will you just go all out with guys like Bird, Nessa, not Nessa in this one, but Bird or guys of his quality who actually move the ball around a bit? Yeah, definitely. I think we saw that in 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 abundance and in very clear way uh, the kind of movement that uh, you know Nessa got up top. So I don't think that hmm. will go away. And I'll give hmm. you a bit more insight into why I picked Ben Washers in the last team. Because the last time these two sides played at Geelong, Washers took a five wicket or in the second game. Hmm. So that was the logic for me to take Ben Washers in the first game. Uh, because I knew that again, Sixers got 150 in that game. And then Renegades were bowled out for 105. So and Washers took five wickets. So you I could see that pattern repeating, which is why I did that. So again, those are just handy insights. They may not always work, but when they work, they feel like a master stroke. So uh, I think the movement will still be there, but it could mm. have easily gone, the wickets could have easily gone to somebody like a Hayden Carr as well, even a Sean about right. because I think in people we talked about, you know, we're very happy that Rajai took four wickets, McAndrew took four mm. wickets. Now we've been saying hum bolte ja rahe ki aisa hoga. So, when you say that you are going to get the other game, they will get the wicket. So, I think that is the same case uh, with, I think, someone like a Jackson Bird as well. We saw how he was beating Marsh and everyone uh, outside edge beat already, but wickets are not going to So, I think they are more better off. Sivuki was also not fit, I felt. But uh, again, that is something you can't control. So, I think Pacers should still dominate. And hmm. yeah, that's why the game, I think, is very good for many Jets to try out. Yes, absolutely. So, again, pace might be the reliability for this one. So, let's look at the base team then. So, this is the base team that we have for this game. And in the keeping section, we have gone with Josh Filippi. Peter Hanscom, decent option for you to try out. But with the way the Renegades bat up top and with guys like Finch and Marsh taking a lot of time, it makes it difficult for someone like Hanscom with a lot of pressure when he's in or ra rather a high run rate demand. So, yes, hence yeah. we've opted for Filippi. And in the batting, we've gone with Aaron Finch and James Lynch, both the guys who scored a few runs. Nikhil, why, how do you see someone like Curtis Patterson going again? Because he, he seems to be getting brisk starts. So, yeah. does that tempt a uh, pick in that scenario? Or do you feel like Mujib and Akil will be enough to neutralize him? Yeah, I think there are enough quality options. Agar aap, uh, if you go by pure numbers, he's averaging 6 against this side in his opponent. 4 matches, 20 runs, 6 hmm. average strike rate in 86. So, enough evidence for you to buy numbers also. Okay, they've had a clue that how to put it. And because hmm. they have something like an Akil and Mujib right up top, top to put a lot of pressure, then it makes it difficult. But again, these are the guys and DBL is such that 
they'll give a chance if you drop them they'll go on and score a 50 so hmm. that is the risk that you have to take uh, but i think jaise humne pot ke liye baat kare thi we are trying to take people who are batting slightly lower down so finch is likely hai aur wins kyunki he's looked in decent touch he hasn't got that 80 90 that he does usually so hmm. i think ye do option rahenge sabke paas and inke alawa jaise humne har bar baat kari hai if you play in a sixers game and next hmm. new ball wickets jordan sel mohit hendricks are always in the game and silk also takes a lot of catches we didn't said that in the last game as well it it is this and it is there you can't avoid it and if you want to think the same way for renegades then john owens has had a horrible tournament so far hmm. century mar ke aaye the warm up mein but he hasn't had any fluency in the game hmm. so it so maybe there sean marsh is probably the only option for you to try out so yeah i think we have discussed all players there so yeah you can go ahead with whoever you feel as per your visualization Yes, so actually there are a lot of batting options, but not yeah. many who are reliable to pick uh, in your yeah. small league team. And in the all-rounders, we have gone Hayden Kerr, Sean Abbott, and Will Sutherland. Will Sutherland bowled three overs in the last game, and he was very stable. In fact, people and com even on coms, people were questioning the fact as to why Rogers bowled the full four and not Sutherland. So yes, you might see him keep stepping, or keep see him stepping up there, especially because as I mentioned, the smaller here, so Nick Madison might not find it easy to come in and bowl that left arm spin. And in the bowling, we have gone with uh, Akil Rogers, Mujib, and Ben Dwashes, Kane Richardson to round it up. So we've gone with the guys who looked good in the last game. Uh, Nikhil, why if you had to drop one of these bowlers to pick Jackson Bird, who would it be? Uh... See, I think the 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 question is between two guys only. That is the two spinners, either Akhil or mm-hmm. Mujib. Now the problem with uh, Mujib is they can use him in the end overs. They are crazy. Mm-hmm. They just can do anything. Uh, so that is the possibility is rules out Akhil, uh, Mujib being dropped. And Akhil, what mm-hmm. is it? They batted him about Sadarlet. So yeah. you have to be very sure that by Jackson Bird, two three wickets will get. The head to head Jackson Bird's is quite big. He hmm. very good record, 12 matches, 20 wickets, I think, something like that. And we saw he bowled well. Or he when he support karta bhi hai. So I think hmm. in either cases you can still take Jackson Bird, maybe take a point on Mujib or Akhil, depending on your gut feel. Now last game, I think Akhil and Rogers both did not take any wickets. I don't yeah. think that is going to happen again. They bowled very hmm. well, uh, and Mujib took three, but again that was the surface that was there, and it demanded that kind of usage. And that bowling. <laughs> and that bowling. So that is the see the. The reason for making this game a mini gel with high risk is because they use resources like that. Even hmm. in the Perth game, it did not cost as much, but Aaron Hardy batted at three. Hobson ko leke bati ham Grand League teams mein kyunki wo he'll come up in the top order. So that is the things that they try, and which is why we want you to not suffer because of those experiments. So yeah, you can always go with what you feel will happen and how it how it will happen. Yes, absolutely. So that rounds up our team for this game. Sean Abbott is our captain. Kane Richardson, vice captain, and a good chance that we reverse both in case in case the Renegades are bowling first. So yes, that is what uh, the setup looks like for us. And now let's look at what the best Grand League options are. I think uh, the way uh, Nikhil Bhai's smile is telling me, I think he knows who oh my Grand League picks are going to be, and uh, makes it. Ex- my Grand League picks will uh, remain the same. Martin Guptill <laughs> from the Renegades, <laughs> and uh, it's not a joke, but it's because I feel like he will capture it. I think he's he's not going to be just one or two knocks. I think it's going to be a good three four knocks out of the eight or nine appearances that he has. So hopefully. This is one of those games, and uh, from the Sixers, it's not Dan Crisp, uh, but it's Curtis Patterson. I know again yeah. the average is bad and all of that, but I think he's looked very brisk this year. So, and I feel like he'll be able to tackle uh, Akil well up front. I don't know on Muji, but I think he can play Akil well. So, yes, those are the two picks. Fair call. I think one was expected, but it's okay. Uh, that's what the Grand <laughs> League sections are all about. Uh, I'm going in. Both, I think, very big and known uh, for Sixers. Definitely, we talked in detail about Jackson Bird, so hmm. no brainer to definitely should try him out. Venues, maybe he could do a nesser, hopefully, and we can then clip this out and put it tomorrow. Uh, so that is uh, Jackson Bird done. For Renegades, I think they they need the top order to click. 
and I think they need a lot from Sean Marsh. He is here, their pro, the guy who's played multiple uh, multiple games and he knows everything that he needs to do to get them off mm. to a very good uh, you know starts. So I think Sean Marsh, if he comes good, I think Renegade will be in a much better place because they have the bowling now. It's the batting that I don't think it's clicking, uh, especially the top order. So slightly uh, again the same thing like that last game. Either Jackson Bird takes out Sean Marsh or Sean Marsh hits Jackson Bird a lot, but that's okay. We'll we keep trying. Right. So a lot of veterans for us in the Grand yeah. League picks. So let's see how they go. Should be another cracking game. Hope you all have a good one too. All the yeah. good luck to you. Please download link there description. Cheers. <laughs>